I really need to get a um, skin pack, to be honest. I really want a skin pack. Maybe I'll look through the skin packs later and buy one. Or maybe I'll have you guys help me pick one at some point. So we can have some interesting skins when playing instead of the friggin' Steve and random free ones that I've been using. That would be a little useful. Anyways, welcome back. Today is going to be a bit of a shorter stream because I have a bunch to do. I was going to wait until late to start streaming, but I think instead I'm just going to stream for about an hour and then do the things I need to do. Um, so I make sure I actually do stream and get that out of the way. I'll probably be streaming until about 2 o'clock my time, which is currently 50-ish minutes away from now, so it'll be a little under an hour of a stream, or roughly an hour of a stream, because then I have to shower and do some stuff around the house and everything before um, my partner gets home from work so that I can go do some stuff later on today, because today I'm going to go do some errands and visit a friend and visit my mom. Um, Mixie, would you stop? Leave the cat alone. Hey. Hey. She's in heat. She doesn't fight back very much. Stop. Leave her alone. No. No. Nixie, come here. Leave the kitty cat alone. Um, I did do some playing off stream yesterday. Uh, like I usually do on my therapy days because I tend to just play in the background during therapy. So I got my levels up pretty good. I did a few other things with my levels. I um, finally found nether wart right after the stream last time. Um, last time off stream what I did was go into the nether and try looking for nether wart, which took quite a while. I did eventually find it. Um, I traveled like thousands of blocks in the nether and gave up and then finally started heading back and realized that there was nether wart right under my nose the entire time, which was a little annoying. Um, and I've been mining it with, I've been growing it while I do other tasks off stream and I've been mining it with the fortune axe. So we have well over a stack of it now, which is nice. I started making some slow falling potions for the end so that we can go to the end soon. Um, I might do that today, I guess. I could technically do that today if I wanted to instead of doing builds. Hmm. I don't know. I could probably do the end, um, on Friday for the next stream. But yeah, so we have quite a bit of nether wart now because I've been mining it with fortune. I also got quite a bit more wood. I was trying to get some mangrove wood and stuff to use for projects. Um, and I got quite a bit more stuff done in the spawner. The spawner now provided us with a pretty much full chest of bones and quite a lot of arrows and I was kind of working on making some bows and stuff. Um, I've been just kind of using levels as I get them. I was also fishing for a while and got quite a bit of fish. I still haven't found a calico cat. I really need that calico cat. Every time I see it in the village it's when I don't have the fish on me which is annoying. Um, we got a few more name tags. All that sort of stuff. We do need to still finish naming our pets. Um, so I need to do that at some point. But what I was thinking was going to do some builds, but honestly, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I guess I could start on one of the builds that I wanted to do. Uh, one of the builds that I need to get done is our witchy tower, because we need to have a place for all of... We need to have a place for all of our brewing and stuff like that, so I need a witchy tower, um, which I'm thinking is going to be like mangrove mixed with dark oak, I'm thinking. I'm not really sure how I want to do it, so I'm kind of going to be improvising quite a bit. But I did get quite a bit more mangrove wood, so we should be able to use that. Um, and it's going to be a circular, so I can put it like probably right in this space here. We can probably put our witchy tower right here somewhere. Um, and eventually I do want to also add in some simple little animal housing areas on this platform so they're closer to home. So probably like another chicken coop, 
um, figure out a system for sheep, figure out a system for cows, since we don't have either of those yet. Um, but yeah, I think we can put the witchy tower right here. I'm gonna look up my circle templates that I have to see what size circle we want to do. Yes, I have a saved image in my phone of circle templates for Minecraft because I make a lot of circle builds and I hate having to figure it out myself. So I have an entire circle templates for Minecraft that's like anywhere between 3 and 45 radius and then I have a, also a 69 radius one that I saved. Um, originally I was using it because I was doing a glass dome and I was trying to figure out the base of it and then I just use it now because I like it. So. Um, I don't know what color scheme to work with for, or like what to do with the wood, but for now I'll make the circle base at least, and then I can mess around with some color schemes of the woods and see what I like. Um, I think I'll probably do something fairly small, maybe like 11 or 13. I'm thinking 13 probably, so it's got enough space for decorations and stuff, but that it's mainly here as a witchy tower. Mm, I don't like the 13 set. Oh, well, actually, 13 does work well because of the fact that it'll give us ease of, of decorating the walls. So let's do... 2, 3... 4, 5... No. 4, 5. And then it's... Let's get you this torch over. I think it's like this, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> um, one, two, one, one, two, like that, okay. One, two, three, four, five, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, one, two. There we go, so that would be a 13. That works pretty good. Ooh, we might move that. I don't think that's a good placement. I think that's a little in the way. I think we have to move it that way a tiny bit. I mean, I guess it's okay here, but I think I want to move it this way just a tiny bit. Because I think that's a little bit annoying of a placement for a big circle. Ay, ay, ay. Let's start it like here instead. Let's try right here. This should probably work pretty good. Yeah, this looks pretty good of a placement. Yeah, that's much better of a placement. I could scooch it a little bit this way to make it be in the middle. One second. I'm thinking I could scooch it a little bit this way, but I don't really have to. I think it's fine like that. I don't know. I want it to be like precisely placed and there's no real precise way to place it. It actually probably would be better off over here. Goodness gracious, I can't stop removing it. Anyways, let's sleep real quick. I should have collected some of the wood from the nether when I was in there, but I didn't. I did end up finding uh, one of the red forests in the nether while I was in there because I was busy looking through a bunch of different areas trying to find nether wart. But also, it would have been nice to, if I had, if you're able to um, use the if you're able to use the nether wart blocks uh, to make back into nether wart. I would have had nether wart very easily since I was in a crimson forest, but. 
God forbid you can do that in the game. And also they updated the game again and now I'm very confused because I just barely got used to this game and I don't want to have to figure out what all the updates were, to be honest. Let's go like right here with it. Mm, I need more of this. I think I might have enough in just the bricks, maybe, because I'm pretty sure I traded for them from the pigs, piglins. But if not, I can make a quick trip to the nether and gather some, because I did, um, I did trade for some, but I don't know where I left it. And I did make a portal that's closer to the fortress. Make a chest, put stuff in the building. I build materials here, and then I'll have to go get that stuff, but first I do have to go check on Togo. Hey, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I am going to be AFK just for a minute and a little bit because I have to go check on Togo upstairs because I didn't... I heard a weird noise up there, and I don't know if it's just the cat or if it's Togo. So, I have to go up there real quick. But, I'll probably just AFK in the little live, in the little um, desk room that I made. Little office room that I made in here. Let's go up here. Alright, I'll be sitting here for a tiny bit just to go check on some things, and I will be right back.
Update, Togo is in fact alright. Um, it took me a while because ferrets do this lovely thing called dead sleeping, which is quite terrifying even as a experienced ferret owner. Um, and because I had heard a noise and then I went up there and he seemed like he was straight up like not living, uh, I was kind of freaked out and I was trying to wake him up and he wouldn't wake up and yeah, it was fantastic. Um, he's fine. <laughs> There's this lovely thing called dead sleeping that ferrets do that's really not fun uh, for owners where they pretty much just pass the hell out like they're completely out cold and they don't seem like they're actually um, breathing correctly or, you know, existing and it takes ages to get them to wake up. Um, and Togo doesn't normally dead sleep so I was really worried but he's fine, he's good. <laughs> um, he's just being a worrisome little turd. Um, I'm gonna go get some uh, more nether supplies for this build, so I have to run over here to get to the new portal that I had made. Because I made another portal when I was at the fortress, and it ended up coming out in the village over here. So, I will go over there. But yeah, he's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> He just worries me more lately because he's so old, so I get really anxious more so than I normally would. If he was a lot younger, I'd just be like, oh yeah, he's dead sleeping, whatever, but it gets me a little anxious when he's really old because I'm like, no, you're not. You're, you're, you're good, right, bud? You're all right? And he's just like, nope, I sleep. But... It's not, it's not that, uh, it's not anything particularly new for me. His sister would pass, she always did dead sleeping all the time, and she was really awful at it. She was so awful to wake up all the time. But he just normally doesn't, and then him also being eight years old and well into senior years of a ferret makes me extra on edge with simple things, so. Did I check this chest? Yeah, I did. All right. The portal is right over here. It came out in this village, which isn't that far from home at least. Let's go in, yeah. I should have bought, brought fire res, but oh well. This spawns like right underneath the fortress, so there's a lot of blazes that like to spawn in here. Ooh, that's nice, terrible glitched audio. Ow, that hurts my ear. I am sorry. Ah. Why did it do that audio? Holy heck. Jeez, I'm crow, that was awful. Um, yeah, so this is where it is right now. I guess I could take some of this wood while I'm here. I hear a gas and I hear a blaze. How do I get these? Oh, you can just break them, however. So can I just use this? Oh, geez. That is a lot of blazes that I didn't know were here. I look up and I'm just staring down three blazes in the face. Ow. I'll probably eventually have to make a separate set of armor that has like super high fire prot to use as my specific nether armor. I'm just gonna collect a few of these lights while I'm in here to use for the witchy tower because I think it would be cool. I think it would fit the vibe of it very well. Anyways. What I need... Ow. Ow, I hate these dudes. I hate these dudes. Okay, I guess we're just gonna use this. Let 
let's just do this and collect a bunch of this leg of the fortress and then call it good I have a chest right around the corner too I'll check to see if I have any brick in it um, oops. because I know I did have some brick but I don't know where it went is there anything useful down here? not really Oh, of course I ticked off a something. No, I ticked off a magma. These guys just die off of my thorns for the most part. Yeah. So it's not bad. Anyways. Can I sneak some of this before I get murked by a ghast or something? Ooh, no thanks. I need to fight more of those guys to get some skulls. I haven't gotten any yet. Or I did get one, but I don't know if I kept it because I think it might have burned in lava when I died. Alright, I've got a chest like right here from when I was trading with some of the pigs. Yeah, I do have some brick. Um, I also have some gravel I guess I could take home. I could take this home, I could take these arrows home. Yeah, I don't really need the arrows, honestly. I can take the gravel home, I can take the soul sand home. Yeah, not much. I just had them here, trading with me for a while. I should have enough of the brick now to be able to do what I was doing, because I was just going to do the first base layer as having it, and none of the other layers, so I should have enough, but... I can probably go up here and get some more. Which is going to be annoying without fire res, but it's possible. Ooh, yeah, it's going to be very annoying without fire res. Oh, there's a skull, speaking of skulls. That was a skull that just dropped. Thanks to our lo lo looting three. I don't know why it was so hard for me to just say looting three. Well, I need... I'm just getting a bunch of this since I can right now, so that I make sure I definitely have any for this project, in case I need it for any decorative stuff too. I'm just kind of hiding in here because... Let's just take some of this. Okay. That should be plenty. Let's make a little outing. I was just gonna try to get another skull since I'm here, but I don't want to spend too much time in here since I don't have as long of a stream time today. I'm just ignoring these guys and letting them die off my thorns, to be honest. I don't really care that bad.
Oh, I hear piglins, which means I'm gonna get attacked because I don't have gold armor. Come here. No? Okay. Be that way. Alright, I am on fire and on withered, so let me just go. Let's just leave. Let's just get some repairs and let's leave. Okay, let's leave. Of course. Die. Of course. Alright, let's go. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're going home. Why was I taking damage? That was glitchy. Okay, let's go home. The wall for the village looks so cool from far away. I do have to finish those turrets and finish off that village. But I wanted to do a witchy tower since that's a bigger project to do. Is that something that's actually important or is it just, you know, it's just that, okay. Get me out. Yeah, I gotta finish those turrets, and I've gotta add a bunch of stuff into the village, but I haven't been in the mood to take, to take on that big of a project, so I haven't yet. And we're back. There we go. Little circle. Um, oh, of course I can't pick that up. Just my luck. Let me quickly put some stuff away so I can pick that stuff back up that I need. I'm just gonna toss this stuff in with another rack for now since I know where it goes. And then I'll make a specific one later. Now let's go pick up that stuff that just fell over here. Okay. 
Ta-da! Now we have to play around with some different color schemes and things to figure out what we want to do. I'm thinking we'll probably do mainly dark oak. And then do mangrove as the roof. Because I think dark oak blends well. But I just like mangrove, to be honest. And then we could do dark oak as the roof, I guess. I just like the look of this much better. But I'll have to get a lot more of it to make it work for this much big of a project. What I could do is put a um, pillar log here on each corner. See how that looks. To break up the red a little. Something like that. Maybe even do it as stripped, because I do have some stripped to test. You can probably even do it as stripped log. Yeah, stripped log would probably look better. It looks better, but I think it's better just to do. Oop. I think it's better just to do um, regular to break up the color a little. This is going to look kind of awful, but that's because most of my builds look kind of awful for one and for two. It's a really hard color to make work properly. And it's a witchy tower, so it's supposed to look kind of all over the place and interesting. We do need more of this wood though, like a lot more of this wood. all the wood that we have for it. Chances are I'll put all this effort into this build and still not quite like it and end up taking it apart. That's fine. I like that. I can add some decorative blocks to it in between too to help it fill out better. But I do need to go get some saplings and some bone meal because we need more wood. Or propagules, however the heck. You grow these trees. We gotta get up there. So we gotta take out some roots first so that we can get up there. And then we use the roots to climb up.
Alright. I end up breaking quite a lot of the leaves to make sure that I have um, the wood out of the section. As far as updates, um, yesterday was therapy. Therapy went usual, I guess. Um, kind of the same conversations as usual and the same kind of nonsense. Um, today is a little bit of errands and then some visiting with, um, friends and family. I'm gonna visit one of my, well, two of my friends, actually. Um, one of them I haven't seen in a very long time, so I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but, um, it's one of my friends that I'm really close with, and then his brother is staying with him, who I also used to be friends with, so... I'm just saying two of my friends because that makes it a little bit easier of a wording, but my friend and his brother, who I used to be friends with and I assume is still decently okay to be friends with, though from what I've heard about him lately, not that much of a great idea, but he's staying with him, so, and I really want to see the friend that lives there, so I'm going anyways, but, um, and I really want to get out of this house, so I'm going anyways. Um, so I'm going there later, and then I also, uh, um, will have to do a few errands. And tomorrow, I don't know what tomorrow is gonna be like. I know Friday I'm going to my dad's again, because I'm trying to get stuff packed up so I can move it hopefully this weekend. Um, yesterday we went to my dad's because... The weather was not going to be good today and hasn't been good today, so we couldn't bring Nixie over there today like we were supposed to, so we brought her yesterday instead. Yes, I said your name. Hi, babies. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. Um, so, why are you licking my elbow? That's weird. That's weird. What are you doing? I'm pretty puppy. Um, so yeah, so we went there yesterday. And we're going there again on Friday. I got a few boxes packed yesterday, so it wasn't that lack of productivity that I normally have. Um, but I packed a few boxes yesterday, and then I'm supposed to pack some more tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, Friday. I always get my days all mixed up. And then... I know Saturday I'm going to go babysit um, the puppy of the person that I'm visiting today. And then Sunday I think I'm going to my dad to fix something on my partner's truck there. And, um, plug my phone in. Oh, no wonder I didn't notice my phone go off. It's not, I didn't turn my sound back on yet for the day. Um, Sunday we're going to my dad's again to, uh, on my partner's truck because my dad usually has the range of tools and we're not allowed to work on vehicles in our parking lot, so we have to go somewhere else and if we have to go somewhere else we usually just go to my dad's since there's a lot of tools and stuff there and it's easier to use the driveway there and everything, um, and hopefully while we're there I can pack some stuff into his truck and then we can move some of my things, if not all of my things, so that I don't have to keep worrying about it and so that I can get some of this apartment organized better. I'm also debating getting a storage unit to put some of my stuff into, especially in case um, of some stuff that's con transpiring right now actually happens. Um, and also just because it feels way too crowded with some of my stuff, like I have way too much stuff. Um, I'm a bit of a sentimentalist when it comes to the things that I have. So I tend to collect things a lot because I either A, they're my interests and um, being very interested in, uh, being very, uh, geez, I can't English today, being very involved in my special interests usually means that I collect a lot of things to do with them, but 
either that or they're sentimental as far as like memories and old stuff that I've had for years that I don't really want to get rid of or I just can't like remember to actually go through things which is the other portion of my things that I just like plenty of things that I have I probably don't need or can get rid of but I haven't actually gone through them so I haven't figured that part out yet but it's all a big mess um, and I was hoping to or thinking about paying for a storage unit out of my money to have some of my stuff in a storage unit so that it's a little bit less crowded everywhere and so I know where some stuff is that I don't need every day like all of the memory type stuff that I'm keeping um, I don't know yet I have to look at like prices because I don't make very much money so it'd be a bit of an investment for me I'm not sure but yeah so I'm gonna be figuring that stuff out in the apartment using some of the stuff that I'm moving and then I also have to figure out what the heck is going on with our rent this month ah, big yawn. sorry I was up really late um, yeah, I also have to figure out what's going on with our rent this month because I've been calling both our building manager and then the upper management and uh, trying to figure out what's going on with the rent because we put in for like automatic withdrawals for our rent uh, a couple months ago, but because of the timing of it, or we put in for it last month, but because of the timing of when it got received, they couldn't do it last month, so we just let them know like, hey, just keep the paper. Um, and we'll send in a check like usual for this month since there won't be it's not enough time since they needed a ten, at least 10 days notice to do the automatic withdrawals they said so I was like okay well since it won't be enough time just keep the paper for now and um, then we'll uh, figure it out for next month or whatever that was perfect um, so I was like, oh, we'll just figure it out for next month or something, so just keep the paper and we'll figure it out. But then this month I was trying to get a hold of them and figure out what was going on with it and they just kind of didn't answer. And I was trying to figure out what was going on and I didn't really get any answers about it. And then I finally got a hold of the building manager and she said that the higher ups do have the paperwork and they've had it for a while. Um, but nobody has notified us that they're doing the automatic withdrawals, so I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on with that, because that makes no sense. And I need to know what's going on to be able to pay rent. Because either they're going to automatically withdraw it and I don't have to do anything, or I need to do something, so I need to know like when to do it, and if I need to do it for doing like a check or sending a check-in. And the only way that we'll be able to do a check now is if we have the expedited delivery of a check, which is possible, but it's a little more expensive and quite annoying of a process. So it's a whole big mess. But eventually it'll be figured out, I think. I'll have to call them again when I get off stream and see if I can get a hold of the higher ups for once, because that's what I was trying to do and it didn't work out. I called twice to the higher-ups yesterday because I was trying to figure out what was going on. So I called them at first, and then uh, I called them again after I got a hold of the building manager. Because I called them at first and I was telling them, hey, I'll, we'll just do a... Um, I want to know how to get these. Can you get these um, little flower things once they grow? Because they're like grown out now. And they look like an actual block now when they're grown out. And I want to know what you can do with it. Oh, you can get something from it. Because I just heard it pick up something. What did I get? I didn't get anything. It's so weird. Anyways. Um... Anyways, yeah, so I'll have to call them again because I've been playing phone tag with them trying to figure out what the heck is going on with our rent so that I can actually pay rent because, you know, dang well, they'll be getting me in trouble if I don't pay rent, but 
It's their fault if I don't pay rent because I've been trying to get a hold of them. Gotta love being an adult. Speaking of which, Tuesday is my partner's birthday. I probably... Oh my gosh, I could not stop yawning, I'm sorry. Um, I probably... Hi puppy, what do you want? What? I love you puppy. I'm a good girl. What are you in? Um, I probably won't be streaming on this coming Monday because he has Monday and Tuesday off and I assume he'll be home on Monday so I won't be streaming. Um, I will be streaming on Friday, I'm pretty sure. I don't know about if I'll be streaming tomorrow, it depends on what I have to do for tasks during the day. But yeah. My partner is turning 22 on this coming Tuesday. And then I also have to figure out so much stuff with budgeting this week and next week. Um, I had to do a really intense budget for the last couple weeks because I'm trying to make it so that I have Christmas all set aside and done but at the beginning of December so that I don't have to worry about Christmas for the rest of the month and so that um, everything will have time to like ship if anything's ordered online and I just can like set it aside and everything and know what I have. Um, because last year I did it very last minute and it made me very stressed. So I'm trying to figure out like Christmas and gift giving and stuff. Um, and to do that I had to do a pretty intensely tight budget and use all of my money since he's not making much money for it. Um, well he ended up, he did end up making a bunch of money for it, but he wasn't originally going to. So I had to save all of my money. Um, so then I had to do really intense budgeting and figure out how to make it work. And then this week and next week I'll have to do some pretty intense budgeting to have that and some other things set aside. Hopefully by this weekend we'll be able to do some Christmas shopping so that um, we can figure out all of the holiday stuff because it's supposed to be fully budgeted for by the end of this week because of his check that just came in this week. So, it's all a big mess, but I hate these trees so much. I am exhausted of trying to dig through these trees to collect wood. Um, but yeah, this weekend I'll have to do the rest of that budgeting so I can figure out that and make sure that we did in fact budget correctly and start ordering some Christmas presents and figuring out what I'm doing for Christmas presents and all that mess. It's really weird to be the person that's taking care of everything in the house and then also know that if you were on your own you wouldn't get any of those results or any of like the things that I bought for the house or um, like all the money that I've saved aside because so much of my money got blurred in with his to do things and all that. It's just weird to think about that in a way of like, wow, what I'm doing actually doesn't matter because it'll all be gone to heck if anything happens. It's so weird. But that's life. Um yeah, you puppy dog. You pretty puppy dog. Yeah you. I'm sorry for being pretty boring and weird about what I'm talking about today. My brain is extremely out of it. I was up until at least 2 a.m. last night because I couldn't sleep, and that did not do very well for my mind. And I've been way oversleeping the last week, and I don't know why. Like, during the day, I mean, I've been way oversleeping during the day when I nap with the dog. Um, and it's really throwing everything off in my brain. Like, I don't think I woke up until 12.30. 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 
twelve thirty or so today, um, which is extremely late for me, and that was very weird for my mind. So I'm extremely half awake still, even though I should be wide awake and doing things, and it's weird. And it throws off how I function for being able to talk about things for stream and stuff like that too. Girl. Let's hope I got it all because I'm going back down. Jesus, are you drinking enough water, puppy? Alright, that's where I'll call it quotes on getting those trees for today. It's already past when I'm supposed to be off the stream. Crap. Jesus, Jesus. Time goes by too fast. Well, I guess for now I'll have to put stuff away and I'll have to work on some offline stuff whenever I get back on again and I'll have to do a stream maybe hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to stream I'm not sure um, and I'll be able to stream on Friday I know it's a really really short stream today but I really have a bunch to get done so I have to get off and I really didn't want to not stream at all so I wanted to at least stop in and talk to you guys and do a little bit of a stream to be able to reconnect with everyone and let everyone know all the updates on what will be going on for the week and stuff like that so kind of sucks to get off so quick but it is what it is I'm just going to get all this stuff put away and go grab that stuff that I couldn't pick up and put it away When I get off, I have to go take a shower, and then I have to bring the dog out, and then all kinds of stuff. Actually, I have to call the landlord first, but... Anyways, sadly, that's where I have to call it quits for today. I know it was a really short stream, but I wanted to at least be able to stop in and talk to you guys and get a little bit done on the world with the little bit of time that I had to play today. Hopefully, I'll be able to stream tomorrow. I appreciate anyone that stopped in today. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Be sure to take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time. Bye!